G'day guys and welcome back to another episode of Mates with Snakes. Today we're going to showcase something that we're very proud of and it's this reptile enclosure that we managed to build outdoors. We're also going to show you the animals that's going to inhabit this enclosure which we're very very excited to introduce including these two beautiful little Cunningham skinks. We're going to go over all the animals that we're going to put in here and the highlights of the pit and the enjoyment we had building it. We've compiled all the little videos that we managed to capture of us all having fun building this enclosure. Isn't it awesome? I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Makes with snakes. Sunday here at Mason Snakes. Bryce is on the bobcat. I've got an apple. Let's go see what we've done. It's going to be the, the substrate we're using in our pit. Nice scrapple. Bryce getting a workout. So it's a win for everyone. <laughs> Tell ya, having a machine makes hard work, light work. Megan, where's Steve? He should be on the shovel. I don't know where Steve is. Bloody hopeless. Bloody fireman. <laughs> Fighting fires till 5am in the morning. Built, built a reptile pit. How's the dog? Guess me. Yeah, hello. We're done and it's time to introduce some of our little mates to their new home. First I'd like to talk about our Cunningham skinks. Bryce has already showed them to you earlier and I would pull them out but they are hiding in their beautiful lot of rocks we've got here for them. Now it's shaded at the moment but during the day the sun does hit these and warm them up and provides a perfect little habitat for our Cunningham skinks. This is very similar to what they would be hiding in in the wild and it's perfectly set out to provide lots of little hides, nooks and crannies because we do have to worry about predators with them out here in an outdoor pit. Lots of birds flying overhead can see them as easy prey but with our setup and lots of little hides for them to run into, hopefully we won't run into any issues. So the second little guy I've got here is an eastern long neck turtle and that's where our pond comes in. So our pond is filled already <laughs> with mosquito larvae which is a perfect little food source for this little guy but we will be introducing some guppies as a natural food source and supplementing with a total diet as well to make sure we're meeting all of their nutritional needs now as you can see here we've got lots of little basking spots and easy access for them to come out of the water and sun themselves which is really important 
and with an outdoor pit, you save a lot of money on heating and UVB globes, which is fantastic. But an outdoor pit, you can only house animals that are native to the area that you're from. So these guys could happily live in a cold climate somewhere else, but here it's perfect for them because they are found naturally here. So that's our little eastern long-neck turtle, and he's a bit shy, so we'll leave him there and see if he comes out a bit later. And last but certainly not least, we have everyone's favourite, the blue tongue lizard. So this is an eastern blue tongue lizard, and again, are found here in New South Wales. So they're going to be a little mate living alongside our Cuttingham skinks. They do live in slightly different, slightly different areas in the wild, but we've accommodated for them as well. So they've got this nice little log here to tuck themselves away in, and I'm sure they'll go and share houses with the Cuttinghams as well. So they're all of similar size and are all on a pretty happy diet of cat food. And they get supplemented as well with strawberry tops and things like that, just as little treats and lots of little things like crickets and mealworms to supplement their diets as well. So it's fantastic having them in an outdoor pit and they're all happy as Larry. Thank you for watching this episode of Makes with Snakes. Make sure you like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube and we'll see you next time. Now you gotta get out. <laughs> Come on, get off. Oh no. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Mm-hmm.